And the first new introduction that I want to announce this week is, is the Montegrappa Hemingway, Old Man and the Sea. It is a tribute oh, to heroism. And the Old Man and the Sea is a stylistic and thematic departure from the Montegrappa Hemingway Collector Series, which is since 2016 to 2022. Uh, while past editions dealt with the author's life, this newest creation uh, pivots to the plot of one of the most iconic stories, the fictional account of the plucky fisherman Santiago and his epic struggle to bring a giant marlin to shore. It, the Old Man and the Sea was the last volume of fiction published during the Hemingway's lifetime. It was written in Cuba, and many, including the author, author himself, have called it as his finest work. After premiering in Life magazine's 1st of September 1952 edition, it earned Hemingway the 1953 Pulitzer Prize for Fiction. Because of that, this fountain pen is limited to 70 pieces only per writing mode because it's the 70th anniversary of this prestigious award. Let's have a look at the pen itself. The lost wax casting and hand enabling capture the central elements of Hemingway's story. A carved cap and blind cap represent Santiago's skiff in Cotiba Mahogany, while enabled segments depict sea and sky, providing a backdrop of the edition's centerpiece inspired by early editions of the books, a full-length sculpted Silver Barrel dramatizes the fisherman's struggle with the marlin. Further detailing includes a silver fishing rod clip, a sculptured trim rings, an engraved grip section, and a high relief cap top brandishing Hemingway's game fishing monogram. On the lower barrel, translucent ocean blue enamel reveals sculpted detailing beneath. The ocean's current and the sharks who tormed Santiago's attempts to return to shore. There was a lot of words. What do you think? There was a lot of French there. Yeah. What do you think of this edition, Michael? It's definitely on the other side of the spectrum of the CP1, let's say. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, it definitely is. <laughs> it's a beautiful pen. It's a, it's a piece of art, right? Like as, as many of those Monte Grappas, it's like definitely very well thought through. And uh, I like the use of different materials and, and, and colors. Uh, and the story behind it, obviously, is very well thought through. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's a piece of art. Did you read the book? Uh, I'm not sure if I read that one. I read like uh, one or two, like I think uh, uh, the, I read the, To Whom the Bell Whistles. I think that's one of his books. And then I read a second one, but I'm not sure if it was The Old Man and the Sea or something else. <laughs> and you, Joe, what do you think? Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm liking this. Um, I, I, like the, uh, I like the engraving on the barrel, uh, specifically how they've, how they've done the two different tones of blue. I think it looks really good. Um, yep. the, the, wood, the wood makes for a nice contrast. I'm, um, I'm like, I'm liking this. Sometimes I'm not, um, sometimes I think, uh, Monograppa overdoes it a little bit with the detail, but I like how they've left the cap, um, fairly simple on this. Mm -hmm. it, it, I think it makes for a nice, uh, a nice combination. It is. I think they did a great job. Did you read the book? I have. Yes. I've read the book, ah, I've read okay. the book a couple of times, actually. It's, oh, a, wow. it's a, it's one of those books that we have to read. Um, we have to read in school here uh, once, uh, once or twice. I've read it once or twice. I think I read it once in high school, and then I think I read it again in college. Mm -hmm. Nice, yeah. Now, I, I, I remember those kind of books that you really had to read. So those yeah, are right. <laughs> those are the books that, that not always the, the, yeah. 